Slow hand Eric Clapton's legendary Fool SG is going under the hammer on the 18th of November with Julian's auctions. With a pre-sale estimate of one to two million pounds, it is lot number 26. Before we get into some details, let me know in the comments how much you believe the guitar will make, including the fees, which, if you bid online with Julian's Live, would total about 30% of the hammer price. The guitar itself does not need any introduction, certainly not to viewers of this channel. It's a Gibson SG Standard, believed to be from 1964, although the serial number is not available, having been covered over when the guitar was painted and then lost when the headstock was broken off and replaced. Whoever owns the original headstock now could, I imagine, possibly find out the number if he or she were to have it x-rayed. Because there is a chance that it is not actually a 1964 SG, but a 1963 Les Paul. In a 1967 Melody Maker interview, published by Rolling Stone in 1968, when asked which guitar he was using, Eric said, a Les Paul, a modern one, a solid one, same pickups, more or less the same neck, just a different body than the 1958 ones. Whilst it was rumoured to have once belonged to George Harrison, it is perhaps more likely that Clapton bought the guitar second hand in early 1967 from one of the music stores on Charing Cross Road in London. There is only one known image of Eric playing this guitar before the paint job, and that is a black and white press photograph from February or March of 67. Having had the guitar only a very short time, it, together with Jack Bruce's six string Fender bass and Ginger Baker's bass drum heads, were placed in the hands of a collective of Dutch artists known as the Fool, who then decorated the instruments with oil based enamels. Named after one of Pamela Coleman Smith's designs for the Rider Waite Tarot Pack, the Fool initially comprised. Dutch clothes designers Simon Postuma and Marika Kerger, who were brought to London from an Ibethan hippie community in 1966 by photographer Carl Ferris. The collective soon became four, with the addition of Marika's best friend, Jose Lega, and her fiancé, English PR man Barry Finch. The Fool were perhaps best known for painting the Beatles' Apple Boutique on Baker Street, and they also designed stage clothes for groups including The Hollies, Procol Harum and The Move, and programmes for Brian Epstein's Savile Theatre. Eric Clapton used the guitar almost exclusively till the spring of 1968, when he replaced it with a Firebird One. In that time, it became an icon, not only for guitar players, but also as a representation of an era. A month or so before putting it on the shelf, Clapton used the Fool for a series of concerts at Bill Graham's Winterland and Fillmore venues in San Francisco. The legacy of those concerts was a collection of exceptional live tracks, including Sleepy Time Time, Spoonful and Crossroads, that were brought together on Cream's third album, Wheels of Fire. When the guitar left Eric's hands in late 1968, it found its way first with singer Jackie Lomax, and then, a few years later, with Todd Rundgren. Rundgren named the guitar Sonny as a nod to Sunshine of Your Love, and used it with his band Utopia. There is some good footage online of Todd playing the Fool to great effect, and it is interesting to see him using Eric's floating arm style of vibrato. The guitar itself has undergone some interesting changes since it left Eric's hands, and one of the first things that I would do if I became the new owner would be to replace the two gold knobs with a pair of period correct black reflector tops swap the harmonica bridge with a 63-64 tunomatic and change the stop tailpiece to the bass unit from an original vibrola tremolo. 
Would you do the same or would you leave it as it is? Todd Rundgren sold The Fool via Sotheby's in an online auction in 2000. The sale was not widely known about, however, and the guitar sold for just $150,000. Then, a few years later, it was reported as being sold again for an estimated $500,000. Since that time, auction prices for famous guitars have gone through the roof. Eric Clapton's Blackie sold for $959,000 in 2004. Duane Allman's Gold Top sold in 2019 for $1.25 million. And Dave Gilmore's Black Stratocaster sold the same year for $3,975,000. All of those figures, however, were dwarfed by Kurt Cobain's Martin D18E, which made $6,010,000 in 2020, sold by Julian's Auctions, the very same house that will be selling The Fool. So please take a guess in the comments at what you think the new owner will pay for The Fool. I'll put some links in the description below for the auction and also for Eduardo Genzellini's book, Cream, Clapton, Bruce and Baker, Sitting on Top of the World, from which a lot of the images in this video were taken. Thanks for watching. Cheers for now.